atmosphere from day one was amazing. I mean, I was welcome, you know, three or four weeks, I had my CDL. I had a few issues, you know, just getting home a few times, but, you know, I quickly learned that's just part of trucking, you just take the good with the bad. But for the most part, I was home. Whenever I, whenever I requested home, I was home. My dad has a construction company, so I decided, you know, I was gonna take one of his one-ton trucks, leased on to a company. Everything was good in the beginning. Yeah, it's always, it's always good. You know, they butter you up, take your money. I got going. Um, I'm out on my own now. You know, I'm used to having my fleet manager. You know, just that support, that support system. You know, for when problems occur. So now I'm on my own. I'm booking my own loads. I'm dispatching myself. You know, I'm. I'm responsible for maintenance, you know, insurance, you know, just the whole nine yards. I'm my own boss at this point. So a couple weeks went on and, you know, I'm supposed to have a mentor to help me with this because it was all new to me, you know. It was a new, new step in my life. He wasn't there for me. I mean, I called, you know, he didn't answer the phone, you know, or wouldn't wouldn't uh, give me a thorough answer on certain things. So, you know, at this point, the job becomes stressful. I continue for about, I guess I put in a total about five or six weeks. And after a while, I just, I just said, this this ain't gonna work. This, this is not gonna work. I went home and discussed it with my family. And we, they said, hey, why don't you just go back to real just for a couple hundred dollars extra? It ain't worth the stress. Picked up the phone, called real, talked to the recruiter. That Friday, I was done with everything. Got my truck, had a load, basically just like I hit the uh, play button. I mean, it's like I put it on pause and pressed the play button and life picked up where I left off. I hear guys say all the time, previous drivers or Drivers now, you know, they complain about, oh, I'm not getting this or that. Have you talked to anybody? Have you talked to your fleet manager? Have you talked to her boss, his boss? Have you have you talked to anybody, any higher ups? Well, no. Well, I mean, they're human just like you. They don't they can't read minds. They don't know what's going on with you if you don't tell them. Don't just throw in the towel and leave, man. Give people a chance to try to figure out what's going on. Now that I've done that, and I've been there before with no support, and I, I, I figured out by myself, I know now when I do decide to go on the ride here, it won't be a problem for me. I, I actually think I will succeed 10 times better than I than I would have um just because I know when the issue does come up I'm not battling that I'm not battling in that demon by myself there there's somebody's going to be there to help me always and that's how it is here real